Many questions remain about Ebola in America. CBS chief medical correspondent Dr. John Lapook is here with some answers. John, good morning. Hey, good morning. So, what alarms you most and concerns you most at this moment? By far, what's going on in Africa? Because it's now it's out of control in Africa right now. It's a numbers game, and that's part of the reason why it's almost magical thinking to think that there are not going to be other cases not only in America but elsewhere because it's a normal it's an incubation period of 2 to 21 days it's not a matter of screening somebody gets on the plane feeling perfectly fine they come here and they get sick okay but we learned that 18 people including 5 children came in contact with this man who has Ebola how concerned should we be that they may also be victims well we are concerned enough to be following them closely, and if anybody gets symptoms, then those there's going to be concentric circles. You follow their context. But here's the one thing that should calm people down a lot. Mm -hmm. It's only spread through direct contact with fluids, with body fluids. If this were spread through the air, the way flu is, there would be millions of people in Africa who already would be infected. But it is also spread through sweat, right, if you shake hands and... But you probably have to, you have to have a cut in your hand, some way for the virus to not only get into your skin, skin's pretty good at protecting, but through that into the bloodstream, so in your mouth, in your nose, mucous membranes, things like that. We were told yesterday that probably shouldn't be concerned about people on the plane being exposed to him. Is that still true? That is still true, and it's very important, and, and again, different from the flu. With the flu, you can spread it a day before you get symptoms. With this, you have to be symptomatic in order yeah. to be contagious. Is the key lesson here, what do we do to... Uh, make sure we inspect people who are coming in to know more about people coming into the country? I, I think that it's really hard to do that. Um, you, you're going to have people coming in and, and they may have a fever, they may not have a fever. And again, they can. The, what I'm most concerned about is people feeling perfectly fine. They've gotten the virus, they're incubating it for the 2 to 21 days, and then they come here. What's most concerning about this is the fact that protocol broke down. I mean, it is not okay. For the last month or two, we've gotten all sorts of emails, communications. I've gotten them personally saying, think a bowl. Even if somebody has mild viral type symptoms, they come and ask a, a, a travel history. It was asked, and then communication somehow broke down. That's not okay. And these five children who may have been exposed go to four different schools. Should parents be keeping their kids home? Well, I think you got to follow the CDC and the public health officials about that advice. Thanks, John.